I found the final sieve over the break, and I, I'm starting to believe that I might be able to win this game within the next 30 turns. So let's try to keep track here. We're at turn 195, so I'm, I'm going to predict that maybe, oh geez, that's a math here. By turn 225, I think we should have this game won. Uh, not to say that that's going to be, you know, very, that's not going to be fast. It's going to be slow because we're going to have to be going through two different, actually three different wars, I'm sorry. Uh, I did take over the Congo capital. It was, it was pretty much simple. You saw all the action of me destroying their units, and uh, for some reason their entire military were down here in this former city that I raised. Uh, at that point, they had literally nothing protecting Mabamba and uh, the Congo capital. So I was able to pretty much walk in, and uh, now we have a, a different scenario set up. I did find the last civilization, and uh, he is very broken. It is America. I don't know what happened to him. My only assumption is that he's been ravaged by barbarians, which he never took out. I see at least two encampments, and uh, there's actually another one over here. I've been seeing countless settlers and builders, though, within these encampments, which kind of shows me that more than likely, Teddy had he was being raided by barbarians the entire game. Uh, civilian units were being stolen away, and I, I just don't think that he was able, ever able to get off the ground. Uh, that is part of the problem, I think, for the AI when it comes to... Being on a solo continent by themselves, they they don't have anyone to help them take down all the barbarian encampments. Uh, I think that's definitely part of the issue. There's an encampment here. I'm sure there's a bunch over here in the tundra. I, I'm assuming, actually, you know what? They might have a, there could be a small land connection. I don't, uh, there's a river. I don't know. But um, nonetheless, I, I think that Teddy was just, just a super unsuccessful campaign because I think this is his only capital. I've already denounced him just so that, you know, we can go to war with him at any point. And the plan is now to finish off Greece and Germany. So I've got my units here ready to go. I'm going to declare war on both of these guys at the same time. Well, not at the exact same time. I'm going to go after Pericles first. Then I'll be going after Frederick uh, maybe about two or three turns later whenever we take out Argos. Because if I take Argos and then I take Athens and then I focus on taking the German capital, uh, he's going to launch a pretty, you know, nice invasion from Berlin. So I'm going to use my, naval to their, my navy to their advantage. Um, I, that's kind of the, the issue that I'm facing right now is that there's not much more that I can do with my navy. Uh, that is a big fear of mine, and I've got to use my economy. That is the biggest way I think I'm going to be able to run away with this victory so fast is using my economy and, uh, and getting up the three extra traders and, and finding more trade routes. Um, the Congo have still not given me a peace deal. I, uh, he's, well, actually, I'm sorry, he, he, he's willing to, uh, he's willing to open up the screen, but he's not willing to do, you know, accept anything, and, and that's fine, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, so, uh, we're just gonna chill and focus on Greece and Germany, sometimes he does send up units to Sendai, but it's usually not, there's no success involved. So I've got a few ships coming over this way, I think I'm gonna leave America alone for now, and I'm actually going to send these ships to help us with the uh, German capital when we do get there. Um, so all of these frigates and battleships, obviously I did upgrade to battleships, which gives us an extra shot of range. Uh, there is one frigate at the very least that I was able to promote to uh, plus range. So I think there's going to be one battleship that can shoot from four tiles away. Obviously that is uh, that is pretty nice, but I did check this over the break. I do have two Cassus Belli Wars, Holy Wars, that I can declare on Greece and Germany. So that is exactly what I've been waiting for. It goes down to a moderate. If I would have just declared a formal war, it would have been severe. This is just moderate. So hopefully that helps out a little bit in the future. Uh, all warmongering penalties are halved. Yeah, that's that sounds great. Okay, so I'm going to declare this war. I was, I was like, wait, did I not press the button? Or what's going on here? We've already seen Greece. We've already seen Greece do this sort of thing. He's not he's not throwing his paper on the ground. I'm, I'm saddened by this. I like when he throws his paper on the ground. Okay, so let's take care of this frigate. Uh, this will probably be the biggest military that we faced. Both of these guys will have the, the biggest military that we faced so far. Okay, so I'm going to attack him there. Boom, he's dead. I need to... I, I'll probably just kind of focus on taking care of their navy first. Yeah. I only have three battleships over here, which is... Uh, and then one ironclad. Yeah, so I'm going to move this way. And then I'm going to begin to land my musket men. So the plan is to take Argos and then start to upgrade these musket men to replaceable parts, the infantry units. I mean, I, the technology is replaceable parts, but uh, I'll be able to upgrade to infantry units. So I'm going to land this guy here. He's going to stay there because I don't want him to, to die. 
There's really no other safe zone, so I think I might... I mean, I guess it can co go up this way. We're not at war, Jerusalem, right? We are. Yes, we are. Okay, we need to be careful of that. That is actually... I did not consider that. That should make things kind of interesting. To say the least. Okay, so let me be careful with what I do here. So we're going to need to worry about these city-states as well. Hmm. Well, as long as they don't have a navy, which I don't believe they ever built a harbor. No, it's 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 unlikely. Are we at war with you? Suzerain Greece? Okay. So we are at war with both of these two northern city-states. Not the other one, though. So both the faith city-states. Which explains why Greece was doing, doing so well religiously, I guess. Uh, I have a uh, an airbase being built inside of Madrid. I should have focused more heavily, I think, on Madrid uh, earlier in this campaign. Focusing on making Madrid kind of the city. Madrid should have been the city. It's just kind of in the core of the, the whole world, pretty much, on this little island. But uh, anyways. Okay, so there's a lot of things we have to take down. And we don't have that many shots. Hmm. I think what I might do is leave... If I don't see any ships... Yeah, I don't see any ships. So I'm going to move up this way. Probably destroy the knight. Because the knight will be very frustrating. Probably destroy... Oh, this this guy can shoot from four tiles away, can he? Yep, there it is. Attack four range. That is amazing. And actually, he should be able to hit Athens, too. And if I get some more promotions, I actually might... Well, let's see here. Does that say three? It's kind of hard to read. Yeah, I think there's one battleship with three promotions. Yeah, we, did we let's take down the knight first. I'm not worried about the catapult. Greece is kind of in a good corner here. Uh, they have the suzerain. They have the suzerain bonus or alliance with both of these city-states. They've got an encampment here. Athens, Argos. This is going to be kind of a, a tough, a tough cookie to crack. What I might need to do is just have these guys relax, have my land units relax, not go too crazy. Because it's really, yeah, we're in a tough position. Okay, so where is this from? This is going to Tokyo. Yeah, I mean, food food and production. Uh, right now, I have my empire kind of mixed with its production. We're, we're building districts still. We're building certain sewer systems because some people are still struggling with housing. I'm going to stop all that, and we're going to start building units. Because right now, I really need more artillery. That's the only way I'm really going to be able to take over both Athens. And, I don't know, the German capital might be a little bit more simple. But, um, since the city's production sucks, we're going to go with the trader. Because we're at 16. 16 possible routes. That is crazy. Yeah, that is, that is pretty insane. This city, it would be nice if you built, like, a musketman so that we can go to America. Infantry units, though, it, that takes too long. So, just go with the trader. Maybe a couple spies, too. I have had spies do kind of mess around with my, my capital city. That's not cool. That's not cool, bro. I don't know who's doing it. Actually, I think it was Greece. I, I do think it was Greece, so we need to watch that. And I'm going to just come right there. Yeah, okay, so we can relax. I'm pretty sure there won't be much of a, a naval threat. There's really no point in me getting that settler, so I am going to completely ignore it. And then we're going to begin. Yeah, so they had... They, I'm, I'm telling you, America just got destroyed by these barbarians. And maybe that'd be a simple fix. You know, if the AI does have problems with barbarians, maybe, you know, on higher difficulties, just give the AI a, a significant combat bonus over barbarians. You know, without discipline. So, you know, just give them like... I don't know, plus 15 versus barbarians for the AI. Although that might end up being bad for the human player because... Or you'd be able to help... You'd help the human player... A lot by doing that. So that is kind of a concern. Okay, yeah, so we're going to keep all that there. I did, you know, obviously I did split up my navy, and I had to. But, um, yeah, I've got so many units that are just going to have to relax for a little bit until we take Argos. And I need to try to plunder that encampment, because that is going to be difficult. I'm not returning nothing. Wow, you're willing to give me a lot of things here. Hey, if, if you're not going to be a threat to me... Uh, Movemba, then I, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'll just hold on to your cities. He'll eventually give me a peace deal, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Your agent succeeded in stealing, uh, oh, we stole chemistry away. That was good. Well, that's nice. 
kind of wasn't expecting that. Now, I'd really like to start attacking the city, but I probably shouldn't. I probably should wait, take down all the units that I can. Okay, so so we're going to wait uh, again. It's turn 197. I'm I I don't know. I'm I'm thinking maybe one turn, you know, turn 225, I think I might be able to to grab this hopefully. Okay. Oh jeez. Come on, you guys. Just leave us alone. I mean, I guess I could just take down the encampment for them. I I does it matter at this point? Oh, wait a second. I have to plunder with a uh I, th I think I have to plunder with an ironclad, don't I? I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, well, I'll take you down. There we go. I'm just looking for food and production. Yeah, if you... Food and production, that sounds good. Because I'm getting four, four gold from every trade route. So, as long as we don't mess with that, then we're going to be fine. We're going to be good to go. Spies operate level two. I guess we'll do that. I Like I said, I do need another spy. Artillery in eight turns. That's not too bad. I think I will go with that. Yeah, let's go with that deal. The reason why I want to continue to build traders is because, like I said, I mean, this conquest is going to be focused entirely through economic purposes. Like, the conquest is going to be achieved because of my, like, a massive economy. Because my production and my cities itself, they suck. They totally suck. So, that is just kind of what happens. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna wait. I mean, I guess I could push forward, but I think I should wait. And I want to see if this city is coastal. This is pretty important. Oh, he has the Dead Sea. I swear, America always gets popped popped up next to the Dead Sea. Huh? I wonder why he's not settling. So his city is clearly not coastal, but you know, hopefully it's only a tile away from the coast. That'll make our job, our battleship jobs, way easier. Okay, revealed Germany has denounced the evil deeds of England. I mean, you didn't... I mean, just denouncing them? You could probably take England down. They only have... I don't know at this point. Not not very many cities going on. Hmm. Yeah, your, uh, your constant knights are, are starting to be annoying, but... I need to take my time. I need to probably take my time. I can't attack the city. You know what? I'll give you a promotion. Even though, yeah, you're not going to really do much with a promotion anyways. Um, let's take down the scout and I'll move into play. I'll move, I'll move into place. That way I can start landing these guys because this is kind of ridiculous that I, don't, that I just have all these land units just chilling, just waiting. So let's go there. I want to get all my... Ooh, let's, let's uncreate this get the siege weapon there perfect you come there you're gonna have to relax yeah you need to relax my man and then we still have the ironclad so we take over Argos then we're gonna go after Berlin next so and let me kind of approach this this corner here oh hello was not expecting to see you here uh yeah I need to take out the barbarians because they'll, they'll they'll continue to annoy me if I if I don't just take them out now all right, we're all good there. This is just this map is just insane, and actually, it makes me think, man, I, I should have just settled canal cities. There were two really good canal cities that I could have settled that would have made this whole thing a lot easier, a lot easier. But it, it's not; it wasn't super super necessary. It wasn't like super necessary. I don't think a submarine is is really needed right now. What is needed is advanced flight. That could help me out a ton, because um, I don't think. As I, as I click military science instead. I mean, this might help out too. There's only like two cities that I think have an encampment within the Empire, which is crazy. Maybe I will we'll just rush this. Uh, I mean, tanks might be nice, but I don't have any heavy cavalry. Cavalry. Cavs. Just say cavs. Just, just say cavs. I don't have any of those things. So, it wouldn't be easy to upgrade. Again, it's my economy that is going to keep me through this war. Keep me safe. Uh, yeah, I might as well land this guy down this way. Maybe getting the uh, the bazooka or whatever that is, AT crew, 
I think I call it an app crew. People started laughing at me. I don't know, but getting that technology might be a good idea so I can upgrade this pikeman. I think that might be cool. Oh, come on. Come on, how does this scout not have the vision? It's got to be there. It's got to be somewhere around there. Hey, that knight did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to. Oh, it's a hoplite. That's... What do you still have hoplites for? I mean, clearly the AI still holds on to their... To their units, their unique units, a lot more, a lot longer than they should. Okay, so I'm, I'm imagining we should be... These cities do have 62 defense. Wow, it's just going straight in for the... I don't even think we need to worry about the walls. I can just walk in, can't I? There it is. I mean, the city, we didn't have to take down the walls. And now I get this bombardment here. I, you know, I guess we might as well keep this city. Because I need the cultural borders anyways, and I'll burn down Berlin. So I think that's going to be the plan. Let's take out the hoplite, if we can. And I believe I still have one more strike, yeah, with the battleship. Ooh. Oh, can I start messing around with the, uh... Well, let's, let's take out the catapult first. Because that would be... That's going to be frustrating, either way. Okay, so yeah, we're going to keep this city. Don't want to mess with that. Uh, who needs amenities? Ooh, Kyoto needing amenities is not good. For the most part, amenity-wise, we've been okay. I have been checking in on this. I'm hoping that we get more policies. Again, I mean, geez, culture sucks. And I'm building a theater district somewhere. Oh, here it is, in the Congo. So, that should be uh, relatively helpful. You are in a bad situation, aren't you? Yeah, this city is just not a very good city at all. Okay, so build a granary for me. And if we can land you someplace, there we go. So a war with Germany is now going to, I think we're going to start it up soon. Here, I'm going to have you heal. I need to start upgrading these. Oh, this is going to be expensive. This is like 200 gold per upgrade. And he's not in friendly territory, so this is going to take some time. Uh, after that, I need to purchase an artillery weapon. I for sure need to purchase artillery, and I don't think I can, can I? No. Is there a better? Why can't I purchase that? Is it because the lack of an encampment, or is it because it's an occupied city? I guess I'll purchase it here and, and start to make my move over. We need at least two or three of these. The Siege of Athens is going to be kind of the toughest siege so far, because it will be our first non-naval siege, and we haven't done any of that. Okay, I think I've made that was I shouldn't have... I, I should have known. Okay, so I'm going to take those, take down this encampment, and I think we'll be pretty much good to go. Just let's move the ironclad inside of the city borders. Is there any other threat to peace within our... Geez, I don't know how many Mediterraneans are in this map, but there's pretty much just, like, unlimited Mediterraneans. Okay, and let's just try to get some vision on uh, the German capital, and we'll be good to go. But it is turn 199. We had to grab our first city. And uh, we'll be going to war with Germany in the next one. There's still four cities left on my list that have to fall before we can win a domination victory. But uh, we're off to a pretty fast start. And as we slowly change the Empire's production um, to more units as well as to you know, kind of continue to increase the economy, uh, things should, I'm hoping, start to snowball even faster. But we'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.